Hey, it's me, Zanov, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition... Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode a Playthrough. Excuse me one second. <coughs> How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm doing pretty good myself. I just finished off some Greek yogurt and strawberries with a little bit of zero sugar maple syrup for a little bit of dessert after my dinner, so I'm, I'm full as and I am feeling satisfied and I'm loving it. In any case, enough talk about my <laughs> my food. Let's get into the video. So we have just finished a very, very long episode where we completely explored Blackreach. Was it fun? Yes. Was it long? Yes. Am I glad it's behind us? <laughs> Definitely yes. And what we're going to get on with is the main quest line. So, Elder Knowledge and Discerning the Transmundane. Now, I have just activated the other quest marker. And, okay, so it's got, we've got a quest marker there and a quest marker there. I'm unsure what's happening because I'm pretty sure once we open this door. Okay, I guess not. There's just a quest marker on that door. That never, that never usually happens. But in any case, hopefully it fixes itself once we flick the lever cronk. Or flip the I can't even remember what that quote is anymore. I've said it like seven times this playthrough. In any case, we are going to be going into the Tower of Mazar. So yes, the two main quests that we are doing running in tandem are discerning the transmundane. Ah, jeez, uh, uh, die quietly. We are going to be doing the two main quests running in tandem, discerning the transmundane and elder knowledge. One, we will be trans transcribing a lexicon for Septimus Cygnus, which come to think of it is not actually a uh, main quest, it just kind of runs in tandem with the main quest and just, you know, it kind of happens organically. The main quest, however, is Elder Knowledge, as I think I already said, where we will be collecting an Elder Scroll for the purposes of taking it back to Parthenax. Who originally sent us on this little quest to, uh... Oh, why is this taking me so long to discern what I want to take? <laughs> Who originally sent us on this uh, quest where we went to the College of Winterhold and found Urag, who pointed us in the direction of Septimus Cygnus, who then told us where we could find an Elder Scroll, which was the Tower of Mazark. Now, it is around to the left, don't worry. I am aware, very, very aware, that the ramp actually is around to the left. I was just doing the typical Zarnov thing and seeing if there was any little hidden treasures here for us to take because I am a very paranoid with Bethesda. I always believe they are hiding something from me, something that I want. No matter how many times I actually play a game, I'm always convinced. No matter how many times I play a game and check something, I'm always can. I, I just can't help myself but usually check it again. It's just something I do. Now, Drocked, he doesn't seem to be faring too well. He seems a little bit malnourished, to be honest. He looks like he could put some meat on the old bones. We're going to open that door just because I want to see what there is to see. Drocked, what have you got for us? You got some charcoal. We'll leave that with you. We'll take your gold, though. We'll definitely take your gold. And we'll, we'll just, we'll let you sit there. Journal of Drocked. Let's have a look-see. I don't know if I've ever actually read this or... I mean, I probably have, unless this is Elder Scrolls content. I probably have, I just cannot remember it. As I said, or as I've mentioned many times, I usually leave the main quest for a while in every playthrough, and sometimes that just means I don't do it at all with a lot of my playthroughs. I just kind of focus on the character and build them up and kind of just disregard the main quest. In any case, let's stop talking about my typical habits and let's read this journal. I weren't never one for writing about my life. The king priests of old deserve their stories told, but Drocht is a simple man. So this isn't no journal and I'm not telling any stories here, but this infernal machine done worked its way into my brain space and I won't leave till it's figured out. The whole contraption just sets like a dead walker if it doesn't have the box. Putting the box in the hole made it all come to life. Five rings, but only four buttons. Most of them don't work. Most of the time, anyhow. When the lights line up, more open, but they don't seem to help just make another damn thing move. The old flea bag Khajiit, what sold me this cube, said something about the light through the knowledge through the machine rests on the cube. I remember because it made me because he made me say it back at him till I wanted to throttle him, so I did. Tried to leave, but wolves to the top of them, eyeless freaks outside the tower. Gotta stay here till I get it right, and I will get it right. 
we will take that. Are we going to get a quest from that? Because I feel like I've, to be honest, I, I do not have zero recollection of that. Absolutely zilch. Zero zip zut little nada. Just nothing. I don't remember it all. In any case, this is very cool, and it is another little time where we get to see some cool Bethesda animations. Now, again, a bit of a puzzle here. How hard you ask? Uh, about the standard kind of puzzle, to be honest. So essentially, that didn't work, but that did. So essentially, you kind of just click the buttons until these ones open. And it's about as... It's really about as... Uh, in depth as that. So yeah, click that button four times and now this one opened and that little lexicon is now being transcribed. Very cool animation. I absolutely love these animations where it like float, where it just like floats and twirls and stuff. Very, very cool. That's just a side tangent. And now we just click this button a whole bunch of times. My goodness, my goodness, how, 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 how did I work out this puzzle back in the day? Really, it's absolutely insane. And now you see this one is open, and so we just click that, and bada bing, bada boom, it all just kind of works itself out. And I'm beginning to think that first button I clicked was kind of, I, I, I guess that's not have been a part of the puzzle, but what's mo of more interest, and we're going to take this, because this is for, make sure you take that, because you do not want to have to come all the way back here, especially with survival mode turned on, it would be quite the trek just to pick up a little cube, and we're just going to make a quick little save right here, because I will be coming back here after the video for a pretty, pretty thumbnail, but what we have been after and what we had to work through Blackreach for is right in front of us now, the Elder Scroll. Take the Elder Scroll Dragon added. Now I believe, actually no, we won't, we won't even talk about it. Started, Alduin's Bane. Read the Elder Scroll at the Time Wound. <clears throat> so, we're going to put, again, as is my habits with uh, the main quest, I usually like to leave them for a bit, and as in, in keeping, in, uh, in keeping, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Why can I never think of the words I always use in real life and I just can never think of them when I'm recording? I just I, I just lose half of my lexicon whenever I am recording. We are going to put the main quest on the back burner anyway. I just cannot remember the word I was trying to think of. We're going to put that on the back burner. Man, Ebony Boots and Ebony War Axe, some decent loot. Uh, Lydia has still not shown up on another side note, but ignoring all that, ignoring my frustration with good old Lydia... Uh, we will be putting the main quest on the back burner just for a wee while. And what we will be doing instead is... I forgot I took this out and got some one-handed. Uh, what we will be doing instead is getting on with... So we will take that off and we will be giving the lexicon to Septimus. So let's get out our little trusty steed, the Daedric Horse, who has not let us down. The only thing who has not let us down, aside from Glade... Glade the Unicorn. He was he was pretty dang good too. I don't think he actually ever let us down. So this Daedric Horse and Glade, the two things in this whole playthrough that have not let us down. Let's have a look-see at... Okay, so we've got to go all the way over there and there's no real... There's no real promising way to get there any quicker. In fact, actually, what we might do is we might just... Uh, we might take a quick little stroll through Dawnstar on the way to Septimus. Might as well pick it up. Might as well see what's... Might as well see what the happenings are. I can't believe it. I'm level 55 and I still haven't visited so many cities because, you know, survival mode just hasn't really taken us there. And so because it hasn't taken us there, I mean, there's just no point wasting the time riding there or catching a carriage there because then you're kind of like stuck there. So you just don't go there unless you, unless like, you know, it's necessary, unless a quest necessitates that travel. It just doesn't happen. And you look like you're carrying some enchanted arrows, my friend. Don't worry, though. I will not be disturbing you. I do not have the time for it. So, yes, we are on our way to take this transcribed lexicon to Septimus Cygnus. We'll be picking up the Dawnstar along the way, as I already said. And we might do a little thing in Dawnstar that I usually do a lot earlier. But, again, just because no quests have necessitated the travel to Dawnstar necessarily, we haven't actually picked it up. We haven't actually gone and done anything there so we will uh we'll be doing that and yeah 
Other than that, there should be a pretty somewhat... Whoa, what's going on down here? Are these guys after us, or is this a random interaction, or... Like... Cause some, I think they are after us, because they're red dots, so bandit outlaws. <laughs> oh, he didn't do too well there. We'll, uh, we might ignore all this, because they're just bandits and hide thugs or anything. We're going to ignore all that and just go into the uh, chest here, and then we're going to do this and continue right... No, 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 no. Danger course? No, 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 no. We still need a name for you. I still need to think of a name for you. We're just going to ignore all that and continue going forward. Now, uh, how, how long is this going to take? I was, the thing is with Skyrim is like the, the travel time, it feels like it takes a lot longer than it actually does, if you know what I mean. Like, like to, to, if you jump on a horse and you actually start riding everywhere, like you get to places pretty, pretty quickly. Like within a few minutes most of the time, unless you're going from literally one side of the map to the other. What actually, like, it takes time and what makes it feel like the map is way, way bigger than what it actually is. And don't get me wrong, Skyrim's map is huge. It is a big, big map. And it's very densely populated, which again is what makes it bigger. But what makes it even bigger again than that, than just the actual total space and then how densely populated it is with things. What, like, adds to all that is also the random interactions that you get tied up in as you are traveling from place to place. And that's what gives it the illusion of being even bigger again. Anyway, let's listen to this. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. <laughs> dead oaks on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening, Medina. I'm here, here to lend my, my magic to the people visitor. of Dawnstar. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Very good. Museum of the Mythic Dawn? Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Sounds good. Let's talk inside. Yes, let's. Now, start at Pieces of the Past. The Mythic Dawn. If you guys are not tracking or you're not familiar with Elder Scrolls lore, if you just not put the dots together, not put two and two together, are you going to go inside? Yes, you are. The cause, the quest line, the cause, which we did previously in the playthrough. If you missed it, I suggest you go back to it as a bit of Creation Club content, and it is very, very fun. I've thoroughly enjoyed what it had to offer and what it was, and it actually uh, resembles, or it actually has to do with the Mythic Dawn, and t kind of loosely ties into the events of Oblivion, The Elder Scrolls IV as well. Very, very fun quest line. I suggest you go back to it if you have if you skipped it. Can't remember which episode it was though, to be honest. To when you're ready to discuss and this is... Yes, and this is his little museum. Uh, the museum is the obviously his house. Here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. So yes, he's talking about the events of the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Now, I believe also, if we walk up to each display case, he will have something to say about it as well. Those robes there we were go. worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Mehrunes Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye made from sacrificial blood. Mmm, very symbolic, also unnecessary, but symbolic nonetheless. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Mehrunes Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the mythic dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died. That they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's scythe. Ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia? An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon. The patron Daedra of the mythic dawn. Yes, very good. And yes, as I thought, as you walk up to each little thing, for those of you that didn't know, he does give you a very interesting little part of, uh, you know, what it means and a little bit of lore. In any case, let's talk to him and see what job he has for us. 
Silas Versias. Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? Why did you open this museum? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. Very good, and yes, that is also a concept that I believe in, is that no matter how bad history is, it should not be uh, forcibly forgotten due to any kind of, you know, idea about how bad it is or anything, because that's when history repeats itself, when you forget about the uh, ills of the past, as it were. I can't exactly remember everything I would usually say on that again because I'm recording and it's just typical brain out the back of the head moment, <laughs> as is so often with Zanov. So what is this Mythic Dawn cult? They were worshippers of Mehrunes Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The Mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult, I've gathered in my museum. Who is Mehrunes Dagon? Ah, an excellent question. Mehrunes Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic Dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. Okay, okay, good. A very good chunk of lore there, and like a very good, um, a, a, a bit of a crash course that doesn't spoil much, but kind of gives you an idea as to the happenings of the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. So definitely worth the chat, and you know, uh, being me, I'm always going to try and get every little bit of dialogue and lore out of everyone that I can. Let's talk about this job you want done. A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the mythic dawn. One of these groups found Merun's razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. Very convenient, hey? <laughs> You want me to get those fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen. I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. I want to know more about the Razor. The Razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. Indeed, I would agree. It would definitely add a lot of value Good to the museum. The fragments. Thanking you, but we're not going to do that just yet. This is going to be put on the back burner for... I'm going to be honest with you, a fair while. I just wanted to pick it up. But uh, yes, it would indeed, having the... The... Uh, blah, 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 the... Mehr blah, 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 blah. Razor in your museum would indeed add a lot of value to your museum. But I also think that would... I don't envision it being very good for your museum in the way of... Obviously, a lot of people are going to hear about it and then try to steal it. At least that's exactly what would make sense to me. Dawnstar Sanctuary, and what an interesting looking door. We're just going to keep riding past that. Wonder what that's for. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, stab, stab. <coughs> Said a bit too much there. Let's keep going on to Septimus Cygnus' outpost in the very, very northern, northern parts of Skyrim. Quite an uncomfortable place to set up shop, I would say. And I'm just thinking about it now, he doesn't have a bed or anything down there, so what does he do? Like, I mean, he spends all his time there, is he just not sleep? 
Is that just a little bit of short-sightedness on Bethesda? I do not know. Do not know. And, ah, yes. Yes, it just works. As you can see, <laughs> I can never get enough of that joke or those memes whenever something happens. It's just, it's just absolutely hilarious to me. Absolutely hilarious. Oh, but yes, we're going to be going to Septimus Cygnus. We're going to give him the lexicon and we'll pick up a, another quest from him, which is kind of handy, even though we won't, we probably won't get back to him for a while. It's handy just to have it because uh, it's kind of a quest where I don't necessarily want to go out and uh, do things like specifically orientated towards doing that quest. It's more of a quest that will kind of just... It'll kind of just complete itself as we go along. That's why it's handy to pick it up earlier. Uh, usually earlier than this. Usually usually a bit earlier than level 55. But also, the reward that you get for it, again, it's uh, definitely not bad to be level 55 to go and get this quest. I won't say anything more about that, but yeah. Definitely not bad. Definitely not uh, a waste of our time leaving it this long by any stretch of the imagination. Man, this is... A fair bit further. This is take. This is <laughs> here. I was just a second ago saying that traveling in Skyrim doesn't actually take that long. However, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would take. We do have the quest marker on his little place. Yes. Yeah. It's just. It's just all the way out here, over to this side. Um. Oh man, it's just. It's just. I'm. <laughs> The thing that's going to take the longest here is the horse swimming in the water because it is incredibly slow. If we had land, it would not take that long. It's just the horse swimming is, as you can see, much, much, much slower. However, we are not dying. We are not dying. It's uh, this is this is definitely good weather to be making this trip because more often than not, making this exact same trip, I would, uh, I would wager and be very confident confident in my wager that we would usually be dying because there would be some kind of blizzard it would be nighttime just everything would be uh going against us again there's another what what is it called it's something's something's theory or something but i cannot remember off the top of my head again things i would usually remember and i just cannot remember but basically the theory of everything that can go wrong will go wrong let's usually what would be happening to poor old Thor and Veralt here? But it's not. On the, this is the rare occasion where the weather has actually... Um, it's actually out to help us right now, which never happens. The amount of times in this playthrough that just having the chilly willies has killed me is actually insane, to be honest. It's, it's happened to me more times than I care to talk about. I believe it was in more of the episodes where I was cutting it out a little bit more because it was uh i have not ever noticed that over there in fact we're going to go over there just because i have n i don't think i've ever seen anything over there like that at least in this part of skyrim I, I mean i've probably missed it every single time if this is in creation club content but i've just never seen it i've never seen the shrine of talos there um what is it it's a cage could this be a pets of skyrim thing but Potentially, and that's the ski. No, we already got the skiver. Yeah, I've got no idea what this is. So we're just going to go up here. We're going to jump off the horse, and he's very promptly going to die. He's going to do a little. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Jet ride on keep. We're going to kill the skiver. We're going to absolutely obliterate the skiver, actually. And we are going to see what this is all about. Scroll of Fury, okay. Illiste. Okay, so it's an actual character. Have is this a part of a quest that we get? Scroll of Calm. And you will see that we cannot actually move anywhere now because we're heavy and us being heavy, you know, over encumbered, it's quite a, quite a usual, wow, we have more torches than we actually need, to be honest. I do love a good torch, I do love the torches, but uh, definitely more than we need right now. Breathing water, alteration skill book, definitely, but obviously we don't need any more alteration levels apothecaries satchel beehive husk we'll leave it scroll of calm we'll leave it sack 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 just food let's search this guy now if he's uniquely named this is either a creation club content thing or a quest would usually lead would usually lead you here uh Ilistay's ring okay hmm 
Never seen this before, never done this, never ran into him. That's uh, it's interesting. I might have to look into that after the episode, if I remember. So you know what that means, you know what that means guys. It's uh, it's not happening. I'm not looking into it. <laughs> because I'm definitely not remembering. Nah, I, I should, I, hopefully I remember. In fact, I'm going to write a note. Look into Illus Tay. Okay, here we go. Writing a note right now as we swim across. Illus Tay. Illus Tay. Hey. Note is down, and as I was writing that note, I also saw my other note where I promised you guys I would give you the definition of incorrigible. I believe that is almost 10 episodes behind us now, something like that. But uh, it'll happen, I promise it will happen. <laughs> Just probably not in the time scale where it would be relevant at all, to be honest. <laughs> Oh well, we're almost at Septimus Cygnus' outpost now, and what a journey that has been. That has definitely taken a heck of a lot longer than I usually uh, would have thought it would take. But again, survival mode. This is where, you know, sometimes I kind of am like, oh, survival mode, we have to travel everywhere. But I've never seen that over there, ever. I, I can promise you that. That's not a thing of like, oh, maybe my memory is failing me, or maybe this, or maybe that. I can say with absolute confidence. I've never done anything to do with Illiste or whatever his name was or anything over there. And we are famished, of course. Why wouldn't we be? Our name is Thorian Veralt and we haven't eaten something in two minutes. Why wouldn't we why wouldn't we be absolutely starving? Hello, Septimus Cygnus. I have your transcribed lexicon that you uh, want. Time for you. Uh, you're still we're still not your friend. We still can't take your stuff. Give us some uh, riddles and I'll know your lost unknown what? and rise to your depths. I just saw a shadow and then some footsteps behind me and just blipped in and all of a sudden you're here. Lydia, we have some talking to do. We have some talking to do. But in any case, Septimus Cygnus, give me when some of your riddles and whatnot. Built, how long will it be sun? My feet were set upon the rock, but it turned to mud and drew me down. Why are you so eager to open the box? Ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevereen, but my lord told me otherwise. Who is your lord? The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora. I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. He asks a price to work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two. For the secrets I can endure. In time, he brought me here to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening. Wow, you are truly scary, Septimus Cygnus. I couldn't imagine someone with your fruitcake of a mind coming after me with a dagger pool trying to kill me in the name of some weird Daedric prince. I've inscribed the lexicon. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Now for how intelligent the... Yes, we will leave you now, Septimus. For how intelligent the... Are we your friends yet? No. For how intelligent the Dwemer are, and how intelligent... Uh, what is that? 
For how intelligent they are made to seem in the Elder Scrolls, especially in Skyrim, I find it very hard to believe that they didn't anticipate that if you just mixed the blood of all the other elves, you could, you know, it, we'll, we'll get to it. But I find it hard to believe, for those of you that do know what's happening, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a... We'll leave it there. I won't spoil anything, but look at this disgusting thing with tentacles. What are you? Speak to the wretched abyss. Yeah, a wretched abyss you are. Come closer. Bask in my presence. Basking in your presence is not at all how I would describe uh, being this close to you. Pretty disgusting, to be honest. Who are you? I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. Most impressive. What do you want of me? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? Yeah, this is a thing that, you know, with just the Elder Scrolls in general and the Daedric Princes and all that, I can never understand why... People seem to be so keen to become the champions of a Daedric Prince or whatever because it seems just incredibly short-sighted because almost always you are replacing someone else and that someone is being killed. And the short-sightedness is like, can you not see yourself in their place in the near future or just the future in general? Like it's, they're eventually going to, you are eventually going to be in the exact same place and they're going to get rid of you as well. It's just... All of it is just incredibly short-sighted. I don't understand all of it, to be honest. I don't understand what's going on in their minds. Maybe they're just very short-sighted people. So I'm going to say this. I'll never join you, you vile demon, because that indeed you are. You are vile. You're disgusting. Look at you. Blah. Be warned. Many have thought as you do. I have broken them all. You shall not evade me forever. I mean, it also could be that, is that, you know, people have tried to resist it because they saw exactly what I was just talking about, how they would just be replaced as well. Uh, but maybe certain pressures would be put on them to the point where they just couldn't say no anymore to being a champion. In any case, I have not forgotten about you, Lydia. Where the heck have you been? And why are you just showing up now? After I have done everything, after I have done all the work, I've done all the heavy lifting, I haven't had anyone to load my carry weight onto, I haven't had anyone to, aside from the Dramora Lords, I haven't had anyone to help me fight anything, again, aside from the Dramora Lords. You, uh, <sighs> Lydia, you have greatly disappointed me. As I said, it was just not not an episode before before you abandoned me. I was talking about how great you have been because you have not abandoned me like Ilya did. And you have not done anything silly like Uthgird did, and you have not been useless like Feindel was. You were you were doing great. And just as I talked you up, you let me down. You made me seem like a fool. I cannot believe you... I was about to call you Ilya. I cannot believe you, Lydia. In any case, what we are going to do now, because, as I said, if you have a look at the quest that we just got from Septimus, as I said, it's uh, discerning the transmundane. I met Septimus Cygnus and brought him the dwar a dwarven lexicon containing the distilled knowledge of an Elder Scroll. With it, he believes he can open the lockbox he has been studying by creating a mixture of blood that will resemble dwarven. I need to collect blood from several different races if I want to help him. 
This is why I wanted to get this quest, because it's kind of a quest that will just kind of complete itself in the background as we play. You know, I don't want to go out specifically, because I've seen a lot of playthroughs where people go out specifically and they kill uniquely named characters and yada 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 to complete the quest because they can't find what they're looking for and they just want to complete the quest. As I've mentioned before, I like to keep as many people with unique names, like unique characters that actually have a background alive as possible. It makes the game feel more alive for me. Which is why I wanted to pick up that quest and just leave it, because... You know, we will eventually come across enemies that all uh, that, that that will eventually come across an enemy orc. We will eventually come across an enemy high elf, an enemy wood elf, an enemy dark elf. Uh, we will eventually come across all of them. So I don't want to go out and try just because I want to complete the quest, go out killing uh, people that I don't need to kill. When I will, you know, inevitably come across enemies that will kind of provide the uh, the requirements of that quest for us. And my goodness, that cold is really starting to get to us, isn't it? We really need to start trying to get out of here. Um, we have been heading in the... We are past Winterhold. Okay, we need to make a hard right to get back to that inn to make sure we do not destroy our health well that's already happening our health is already getting destroyed we just cannot let it continue to destroy our health but yes once we get to the inn and we get our self to 100 percent we get ourselves fully fed we get ourselves fully rested and whatnot basically make thoran verolt the happiest boy there has ever been we will then be Basically putting everything on the back burner in favor of personal administration, meaning we will be sorting out our inventory and we will be sorting and we'll be going to the Golden Hills Plantation as well to, you know, harvest some crops, you know, just as I was going to say at the beginning of the episode, I'm pretty sure, but then I got sidetracked with my just own thoughts. All that business with Malin is over with. What did you need? Let's talk to you real quick. There are so few okay. pleasures in life. Yes, I was going to... Uh, again, I got distracted with my own thoughts. And all. The, <laughs> I think what really adds to it is all the people talking while I'm trying to talk. It just absolutely like muddles up everything I'm thinking about at the time. You're welcome to stay here. What have you got to say? That appetite, huh? I'm just going to leave that thought on hold until I can get away from everyone talking to me. Because... Undoubtedly, uh, I'm pretty sure I've already forgotten what I was going to say, to be honest. <laughs> it's just... Oh, it's so annoying. I'd like to rent a room. No, look. that's not what I wanted to say. All right, Come on I'd now, like Skyrim. I'd now. like to rent a room. Sure there we go. It's yours for a day. Thank you very much. You'll I'll show me to my room? room? No, it's right. quite alright. Whoops, I went the wrong way. Here we go. So, uh, what I was going to say at the start of the episode, but then I got kind of sidetracked. Which, you know, I'm sorry, it just happens. It's, you know, I'm sure you guys are used to it by now. Um, was that was just going to be a bit more of a relaxed episode, a bit <laughs> more chilled not, out, not going to be quite know. as, um, not quite as hectic as obviously Black Reach was. All, we're intent all we are intending to do is get the quest from Septimus as we already have. We'll eat that, eat that, eat that. And why not eat one of them? You're well fed. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're just gonna get the quest from Septimus Cygnus, and then we're gonna start trying to sort ourselves out for our uh, future adventures, because the K the whole KOA situation really gets to me. It re Oh no, where are you? Come on, your store's open, why aren't you in here? You How is it that when people are in here, uh, and their store is open, the door's locked and it's a crime to enter, but now the store is unlocked and she's not in here. Let's wait now. Just absolutely waste all the stats we got up. Thank you very much, Ben. A I'll terrible say just customer about service. If it's worth my time. What have you keep got for sale? Mind, will you? I will keep it in mind. What have you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Oh, I'm very glad you have a bit of this and a bit of that because I'm just going to be selling you a bit of this and a lot of that. Um, do you have a? We'll sell you this. You can't even buy it. My gosh. Um, I don't even know if it, we'll just, we'll just, whatever, 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 whatever. Regrets, regrets, I have no regrets. <laughs> Let's just continue onwards, it's okay. We'll do a bit more inventory sorting later on. We don't need the gold anyway, realistically, I can just store a lot of that stuff in gold plantation, which is where we will be going 
now we are going to start a nice long typically very deadly ride to Windhelm and then catch the carriage from there to White Run and then go from White Run to Golden Hills Plantation and this is all stuff I would usually cut out but as I have mentioned in previous episodes I am doing my utmost best my absolute I'm trying my hardest I'm doing everything I can to improve my commentary and just you know keep these segments because a lot of people do want to see these segments they want to see all of uh, the at least my intuition tells me at least my intuition tells me that people do want to see these things because I know what I want to see when I uh, am watching a series and who are you courier important deliveries to make no time for chatting I've never seen a wood elf carrier and oh I'll my goodness come on now no not happening you are coming back here and I'm getting on you before you can run back there yeah what has anyone else ever seen a wood elf courier like what is that no we're just ignoring all this I don't want any part of it no 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 how do you do your patrols out here hey how do you and the rest of the Winterhold Guards do your patrols out here and not die continuously? Look, we've passed a bear. We've passed an ice wolf. Down there, there is a Spriggan, a bear. It looks like a bandit. And over to the side, a vampire. <laughs> you being on there is a saber cat. <laughs> you Winterhold Guards must have the highest turnover rate and fatality rate of any other job role in Skyrim. <laughs> like, how do you guys do it? I have absolutely no clue. I'm out here and I'm not even facing all these things and I'm going and I'm about to die from the weather. Let alone you guys on foot facing all these things. Hats off to you. Hats off to you. In any case, oh, let's keep pushing for. Okay, look at it. Look. Look. Who are these guys? I want to jump off just to see what their names are in case they like hide thugs or something. Yeah, let's quickly jump off. Let's quickly jump off and see. Nah, okay, they just ban it. Jump back on. Back on we go. Sorry, you just copped a few smacks to the face there, Daedric Horse. Okay, let's let's uh let's let's try and come up with a name for you right now because I don't want to just keep calling you Daedric Horse. That's kind of boring. Let's call you. Hmm. Hmm, we can't call, okay, we're not going to call you something boring like Gregory because that, you know, that was kind of a name that was bred out of the idea that they were just regular horses, so they were boring, and we have some very, very excited hawkers down there, it looks like, I don't know what they were doing. Yeah, we're not going to name you something like Gregory because that was a name that was bred out of, you know, they were just regular horses, you know, boring old horses, so we just name him Gregory. We can't name you Glade because, you know, I didn't come up with that one myself even though that is a really cool name, but that is already a name of another horse and a pretty fitting name, I have to say, for a unicorn. I feel like that was a really, really cool name, but come on now, come on, come on. You, you, really, need to, you really need to just try your best to get up on top of that little ledge there. There we go. Yeah, we can't call you Glade, obviously, because that was a name that I didn't even think of. It was just randomly generated, and it's obviously already on my unicorn. What can we call you? I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. Just like the words and the sayings and everything that just ups, that just falls out the side of my infected ear, and it's just the brain out the back of head, just the, the, the part of the brain that's responsible for words and language is just... It's just shriveled up and gone. It's just uh, the lex, my usual lexicon, my usual lexicon, my usual lexicon is just ride? not there. I do need a ride. I would. Take you to the whole I know that. I would like it if you could. Is the safest way yep. to travel. Mm -hmm. I would like it if you could bring me into the menu so I could actually do it before I die. Yes. Okay, you're going to kill me. You're going to kill me. So what we are gonna do is we are going to run in here and then. Oh. We're gonna open this door. Here we go. There we go. Nope. Nope. There we go. And we're gonna go in. We're gonna warm ourselves up. And we're gonna do that by standing by this fire. And then quit. we can't wait while trespassing. Oh, goody. So we just have to sit here and wait. And yeah, there's nothing. I've been in here before plenty of times for this ex not this exact reason where he won't talk to me for some reason but uh 
we have just been in here plenty of times because we've had to warm ourselves up after traveling from Winterhold to Windhelm. It's a pretty standard thing. Um, and yeah, there's nothing to really do. There's nothing really entertaining about this place. So we're going to leave now. And hopefully he doesn't just tell us about how great his services are with his carriage. He will actually provide the service. So, Alfarin. Need something? I do. I really, really, really do. And you're not providing that something. Gosh, is that annoying. And we've just gone in there and then come back out and then gone to talk to him again. And he's still not... Uh, he's, we, we still can't get him to talk to us. That's... That's really unfortunate. Really, 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 really unfortunate. And I don't know how we're going to circumvent that. Because I don't think going into Wilmtelm and then coming back to him is going to really make a difference. I mean, I could be wrong. We're going to try it in case I am. But I really don't feel like it is going to make a difference. In which case, this just became a heck of a lot more painful with a heck of a lot more travel time. So hopefully that's not the case. Because if that is the case, where he just never actually fixes himself... We could be in for a bit of strife, to be honest, because if that just permanently stays that way, every single time we are traveling from Winterhold back to Windhelm to get a carriage and then travel somewhere else on the map, uh, it, it, we, we could basically we could basically be in a bit of uh, trouble, and I am going to just do this instead of listening to her sing, and I just forget my thoughts. Come on now, we've waited an hour. Our health should be at 100. There we go. Okay, let's hopefully go back out. So we've waited an hour, we've been in a city, we've gone through multiple loading phases. If this doesn't fix him, I have Horses. absolutely no... Are I, you, why are you following me everywhere? I'm not going to watch the magic, okay? I'm not going to watch the magic. Thorin Verolt is very temperamental and he's very sensitive to the cold. He will die if I do not rush out of areas that are slightly chilly, okay? I'm not watching anything. Not even for you. Windhelm guard. Hopefully Safarin or whatever his name is has fixed himself. Please, oh please, oh please, oh please. Hey, and this looks like it's Gregory the Second or something in here. There we go. <laughs> okay. Please. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh, that is a huge weight off of my shoulders. I was really worried he was just going to be permanently broken. White run, please, well, good I'm sir. We'll be off. Yes, good, 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 good. We will be off. I was going to talk to you, when but I just realized I cannot be bothered. <laughs> I cannot be bothered. I just want to get to my plantation and sort out my inventory. Oakley Doakley. We're hungry, we're drained. Il uh, not Ilya, Lydia is here, but we do not care. We are going to push through this Thoran Verolt because I believe in you. And I also don't care about your well-being right now. I care about getting to Golden Hills Plantation. I'm sure you will power through it, my friend. I'm sure you will power through it. And I'm only so certain of that because I'm going to force you to. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to Golden Hills Plantation. We'll drop off all of our stuff. We will harvest all that. Oh, and we'll go to Ilya as well because she. We. Ha it has been a good while since we have actually been to uh, Golden Hills Plantation, so we should have a good amount of coin saved up. It'll actually be interesting to see how much we get. I'm gonna say. I don't know. It could. It could just be me. It could just be me in terms of like. The time in between recording episodes and whatnot, and whatnot, so it feels like it's been a long time since I've been there. But actually, in game, it hasn't been that uh, that long since I've been there. But I definitely, oh my goodness, I hate these things. Oh, this is my, this has to be my least favorite random interaction. Is when you just run into a whole group of these things because they are so strong and they just take forever to kill. I'm not gonna do it. I refuse. Nope, not today. Lydia, you do it. Yeah, that, that's something you can do. You've done absolutely nothing for the last, like, you did nothing for all of Blackreach. There you go. You did nothing. You didn't help with any Falmer. You didn't help with any Choruses. You didn't help with any Centurions. You didn't help with any Dwarven Spheres. You didn't help with any Dwarven Spiders. You didn't help with the Dragon, the uniquely named Dragon. You didn't help with clearing anything out. You didn't help with Carry Weight. You helped with Diddly Squat. So... If you get left behind and you have to deal with those zombies, I would consider that fair. And that's a little screen shake I see, which makes me believe we have a little dragon somewhere. And indeed we do. How's about that? Oh boy. <laughs> 
See, this right here is why... Okay, we will we will take care of the dragon because this has actually come kind of fun. Uh, oh boy, this is... Uh, oh, we do not want him to get too close to us because if he does a physical attack, that is bye-bye to Thor and Veralt, and I do not know when our last save is, and that has got me incredibly scared right now. So we are going to get out of this quick save menu and do the biggest quickest 180 of our lives yeah and we're gonna get this and this okay oh. and you fly up as soon as i get them out all good you will land eventually and we will have you i will have your soul i promise you that um okay we're gonna do a quick save here because i don't know when my last save is and it's got me incredibly scared let's start going bang and bang and if he gets a bit too uh a bit too happy with his flying around and whatnot. We might get this storm Matronax out just to stop him from using his uh, frost breath. Because yeah, he's just going to do a whole bunch of these where he just kind of does that. Luckily, we have that uh, dual casting perk and destruction where we can stagger them real easy. Like just even though the ma even though his frost breath doesn't do much to us because we have that much magical resistance anyway. Oh my goodness, I hate that. Don't tell me he's over with all the zombies. Don't tell me he is. Okay, he's over there. Okay, that's not too bad. That's that's okay. It's not preferable because more than likely we're going to aggro all of them as well. Oh well, I really want to kill this dragon now. I'm committed. Let's get over here can we get up here yes we can and from here we are going to get out storm atronarchs because i can guarantee by the time we get over there no longer combat music by the way for some reason i can guarantee by the time we get over there yeah he's gonna just start flying up so we'll get out the storm atronarchs and hopefully get his attention back over here and hopefully drain him of his frost breath with our storm atronarchs here we go come on now come on now land Okay, don't land. Just stay there. Whatever. Let my Storm Atronax deal with you. Don't fly in front of me when I'm trying to... A second earlier, if, you had, if I had to release that a second earlier, which means if you didn't go in front of me, I would have gotten that second shot off. And let's dagger him again. And hopefully his next animation will be landing somewhere. Please, 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 please. Come on now. Be kind. Be kind. There we go go and from there oh he's still over there okay pick that up and from here we're gonna get these guys back out hopefully we can get him down to half health before he takes off again no 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 bubbles there we go no oh absolute waste come on land please 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 land again please there we go good okay we should have him now for sure we should have him now Definitely. Yeah, he won't be taking off again. Good, good, good. And hopefully, the, hopefully... Yeah, you can't be saying tough words like that and then be stuck on a rock, alright? You need to get up there on the front lines and start smacking him in the face with your Daedric Greatsword of the Inferno. Hopefully we don't aggro these mammoths and giant. It's not really something I want to do right now. I kind of just want to kill this dragon and get on with what I was doing. Please don't one-shot me and kill me. Thank you. Thank you so much. So kind of you. Um, let's take everything because we're about to jump on our Daedric horse anyway and start riding. There we go. Bada bing, bada boop. Where is Lydia? Again, nowhere to be found. I mean, I was riding. I probably did leave her behind. Not her fault. Okay, I won't... Ah, oh, there she is. Yep, <laughs> there we go. Showing up just as all the work's done. Yeah, don't worry, Lydia. Don't worry, you know. Being a house girl, sworn to carry our burdens. You'll protect me and all I own with your life. Yep, heard it all. Don't believe it. Don't believe a word of it at all. Not anymore. You've lost all your credibility. Away with you. Shoo. No, keep following me. But we will be replacing you. That is something I want to do now because you have let us down. And I cannot forgive you. Even though it's the exact same thing all other followers most likely would do and the real reason I'm replacing you is just because I'm kind of bored of you now. You do look cool in that armor, but, you know, I would just rather have you at some house somewhere just chilling out and we just get a different follower just to switch it up, just to switch up the dialogue, switch up the, the uh, companion uh, gameplay in terms of, you know, their fighting style. So we probably won't get another warrior. 
I'm contemplating getting a certain someone who is very, very strong. Very, 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 very strong. But we cannot find them in Skyrim. We actually have to travel to Solstheim to get them. But they are very strong. And there's no real lengthy quest line to actually get them to be your follower from memory. They're actually pretty easy to get to be your follower. And they are very, as I said, very, very, very strong. They're actually a very strong companion to get if you are a very weak uh, character at the start of the game. And here we are, Maik the Liar. I have not seen, you again, survival mode. I have never seen Maik the Liar so much, I swear. I've seen him like, I don't know, 10 plus times. I'm gonna say safely 10 plus times this series. Uh, where, I saw my icon. Where's my, oh, it's right there. I ran straight past it, my goodness. <sighs> if you cannot tell, I am tired. I've had a huge day, <laughs> which is part and parcel why this is a more relaxed episode. I've had a very, very, very big day, <sighs> and I finally get to just chill out. That's why. I, that's why I purposely made this a chilled episode. Oh, I forgot about all the dragon bones and whatnot. Actually, that is a perfect place to put them right there. Die quietly, die quietly. That is a perfect place to put them. So, come on now. Just a little bit. Uh, what? That's full of stuff? Okay, we'll take that. Um, mage backpack. <laughs> the only mage backpack we've found randomly spawned. How about that? Let's go into Misk and we'll drop off everything. Oh my goodness, I have so much stuff that I should be selling. Drop off all this, drop off everything that we would use to forge anything with. Yep, drop it. Um, yeah, let's drop off all the jewels as well, to be honest, because, like, I'm, I mean, I don't need to sell them. I don't need to sell them. I'll just keep them if I want to make some, like, cool jewelry and then enchant it for some reason. Uh, diamonds, yep. Emeralds, yep. Um, flawless amethysts, yep, drop it all, flawless diamonds, man, eight flawless diamonds, where did we even get them from? Wet, 22 Ghanais, my goodness, how long has it been since I've gone and sold these things to a vendor? Um, the Great Welkin Stone, <laughs> uh, do we have to take this somewhere, or is this just something we have now, is this like a quest item, like if I go to store it, no, I can just store it, okay, um, mmm, Probably not the best place to store it, being that this is like a craftable kind of chest, but it's all good. It's not like it was going to be used for anything anyway, to be honest. Okay, we've stored a few things. Now, let's just chill out. No more weird things we have to fight. What's our carry weight at? Are we going to be over-encumbered trying to do this more than likely? So, before we just chill out, as I said, let's go in here and just drop off all of Z said junk. Now, we will put most of it in this chest here because I believe this is like the, yeah, this is like all the spare armor, spare, you know, the spare chest basically. So we'll go Dragon Bane, yep, Ebony Sword, why not? Uh, actually, I'm not in combat. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am in combat. I have a zombie in my house. Please. Please be the only zombie. I don't want to deal with all 15 of you. Okay. Oh, please. Thank you. Why was that thing in our house? In my house? Okay, Notch Pickaxe raises the wielder's smithing abilities and does 7 sh shock damage to enemies on hit. Um... Raises this the wielder's smithing abilities by how much is something I would ask. Let's disenchant this. Yep. And let's disenchant this. Wow, I thought we had this enchantment already. Luckily, I picked it up just because as like a just-in-case kind of thing. Because that is a really, really good enchantment to have. Um, yeah, I will leave it because I don't think we're going to use that on anything else. And it's a uniquely named item. So, you know, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Don't really need to disenchant it for any actual reason. Store that, store that, store that, and store that, store that, store these, store that, store these, store that. Uh, gonna hang on to that just in case 
Yeah, because I'm going to look up what that has to do with, and I don't want to, like, forget where I put it. So we'll, we'll hang on to it. Store that, store that, store that, store that, store that, store that, and, yep, yeah, store that. Okie dokie. Carry weight's looking a heck of a lot better now. We still have a bunch of junk, though. Man, oh, man, oh, man. And I'm pretty sure Ilya's holding... Oh, not Ilya. Lydia's holding some stuff for us, and I'm pretty sure... Lydia, uh, the Hilda's holding some stuff from us. Uh, what are you holding, actually? I need to trade some things with command. you. Yeah, you are holding stuff. Um, we will. So, using the axe of white run, so we'll take that off you. You're not using the bow at all, so I mean, I should take it off you, but I'll just leave it in case you decide to whip it out one day. Um, and you're not holding much else, so we'll just leave that. You we'll put the mace in here. And. Yep, good. You, you notice that, that second little uh, line of what you said there? Actually, where are we putting... That's where we're putting the potions. That's where we're putting these three ingredients. Where have we been putting... I'm pretty sure I'm just putting in, like, some random sack or something, aren't I? Am I? Where am I putting all the other stuff? Excuse me, Hilda. Oh, Hilda. What the... Okay, I thought that... Hilda, please... Just, I, I'm not in the mood for it, please. Oh my gosh. Stuff it. <laughs> Stuff it. Let's just see what we have to collect here. Okay, we got Creep Cluster. We got more Tapanella. Skelly Folianita. Yep, yep, yep. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, I, You're going to make me do it. You're going to make me go in here, get out this, and move you manually. Okay. Gosh, that is why I had to get rid of you. That is why I had to get rid of you, Hilda. You were just awful. I think where I'm storing the ingredients is up here. Yeah, it is. Okay. So we'll get rid we'll store all these other ingredients. Uh, quest items cannot be removed from your inventory. Why is a Briarheart a quest? Oh, I think I've got to deliver that to someone actually. Yeah, just cannot remember it for the life of me. We'll keep that as well. Store that, store these, store that. Store, 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 store. Yup. 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 Keep, keep. Store, store. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, please, 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 please let me know. Ah, oh, I was putting some other stuff in here. I completely forgot. Oh, well. Um, please let me know if you guys don't want to see this and you want me to cut it out. My intuition is telling me that you guys will want to see everything. Uh, just because I know I'm the kind of person who wants to see everything, but if you do not want to see this, which from from a from a content creator's perspective, I'm like, why would anyone want to see this? But then when I come to the when I like put on my consumer hat, my you know I like to sit down and watch YouTube hat. When I put that on, I'm like, ah, uh, I want to see pretty much everything. So. Please, I will, uh, p please let me know if you want me to cut this kind of stuff out because this episode has been heavy with the travel and heavy with the sorting stuff out in terms of our inventory and everything. And like, I just feel like it's not, I just feel like it's not entertaining. Again, as I said, as much as I think I, oh, Lydia, stop it. Stop it now. As much as I feel like I know I would want to see it, and I feel like that is the general gist when it comes to these kind of things for a lot of people, like you just want to see everything regardless of what it is. Like you just want to see everything that the playthrough has to offer. You just want to see everything that the character actually does and how the character gets to like where they are. No matter how, uh, I don't know, uh, non-riveting, I guess is the word for it, is. Even though I can like, even though I can see that perspective, because I am also a person who watches a lot of YouTube and watches a lot of playthroughs, and I can see myself wanting to see it. Also, from this perspective, when I'm sitting in this chair and I'm recording this content, I'm also like, why would anyone want to see this? <laughs> like, it's just all I've done this episode of, is I've spoken to Septimus Cygnus, and then I've basically run. So I. I I collected the Elder Scroll, I ran to Septimus Cygnus, I ran to Windhelm, fixed like a little bug that was happening there, and then caught a carriage from Windhelm to Whiterun, and then ran from Whiterun to this plantation, and because none of that travel time was cut out, we're currently at 1 hour and 4 minutes recording, which is insane, 
when I feel like we've got nothing done. <laughs> I just feel like there's no, I just feel like we've done nothing. I just feel like I've done nothing and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. That, it's just, it's, uh, it's just how I feel. I don't know. I don't know how to accurately kind I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure you guys will let me know though once these videos start coming out. In any case, what we we'll store all these again. We'll store all these again because what I might end up doing is just for levels. I'll only ever like legendary a skill once where I can see it's like, you know, the whole illusion and muffle thing. Like I'll only legendary illusion once and use it for levels. I'll only like legendary alchemy once and use it for levels just so it doesn't get like it doesn't get on the side of being too abusive. Um, yeah, so that, that, that's how, I think I've mentioned it before, but that's how I'll use that mechanic to, like, still kind of, you know, still get levels, but, like, don't, but not absolutely just destroying the legendary system. Where is Ilya? Because I've been, like, looking for her as well this whole time, but, ah, there she is. So she sleeps in these quarters with these guys. So, Ilya. Yes? I'm here to collect the plantation's profits. Very good, sir. 4,712. Okie dokie. So nowhere near as much as I thought there was going to be. Let's take the seed slaughterfish. Let's take the salmon steak. And I think that's all we're interested in here. Yes, indeedy it is. Okay. <sighs> I think with, you know, in keeping with the, uh, the whole relaxed video, as I said, I'm aware also that we haven't done much in the you know, in terms of quests and stuff, but this is going. This was going to be a more relaxed video, and I'm only going to put out a video like this because I myself, as I have been saying for the last 20 minutes at least, I'm uncertain as to whether or not people want to see it. But in any case, that's going to have to do it for this episode today, ladies and gentlemen. Please like and subscribe. Please turn on the notification bell, and please leave any comments below, any recommendations, or just stop by to say good day because I promise I'll respond to everyone, and I absolutely love the interactions. I absolutely love watching my subscribers grow. I absolutely love watching the views grow. I absolutely love watching the likes. I absolutely love absolutely everything to do with doing YouTube. It's like, I cannot describe how happy it makes me. But in any case, regardless of whether or not you do any of those things I just asked you to do, it is definitely not required of you. You are your own person. You can live your own life. Just please make sure that you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.